So playing a little system of slaughter showcasing a recently discovered grenade, I came across a loot ghost, which upon me killing, it dropped 4 legendaries. Now I know they said these dude had been buffed in terms of legendary loot drops, but damn, I didn't think they were this good. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, truly helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So yeah, one loot ghost dropped for legendaries. Through these legendaries were Bloody Harvest exclusive legendaries. So I thought I should definitely share this information with you guys and showcase to you a game where the best place to farm these dudes is in my opinion. As I know many of you guys are still commenting on all of my videos stating that you're yet to get any of the exclusive legendary loot drops this Bloody Harvest event offers. The great stuff such as the Gas Cool and the Fear Monger. Now I didn't just get lucky with one loot ghost and decided to make a video about this. I went to my favourite spot and farmed it for a bit to see if other loot ghosts were this generous. And well people, they most definitely are. I saw Lord spawn and 9 times out of 10 I was getting bloody harvest legendaries every time. Getting the Fear Monger shotgun, the stalker sniper, the shield, the grenade and many different variants too. And on this basis I bring you this video because I know there are loads of you like I said out there still after certain exclusives from this event. Now is definitely your chance to get them guys. Gearbox also stated Captain Haunt has had a buff in terms of his legendary loot drops but in my opinion farming loot ghosts if you go to the right place is so much more efficient. So the best two places in my opinion to farm loot ghosts are upon Voracious Canopy where all the dinos spawn into the waterfall. The spot you can see me at on screen now getting plenty of loot ghosts even sometimes two per run. This place is relatively simple to do. You load in, well actually you travel here, you basically kill all the dinos, you quit out, load back up, rinse and repeat. Now if you don't know your way to this place people I will showcase it at the end of the video. Now the other great place for loot ghosts is the slaughter shaft. This though in my opinion can be a little more difficult depending on the build you are using. Me being a Zane main I prefer voracious canopy but that doesn't mean it's actually better. But for sure guys these loot ghosts are incredible now for new legendaries, exclusive legendaries to the bloody harvest event. You should definitely take advantage of them while you still can. The bloody harvest event ends on December 5th. So we've got a little under a month to get what you want from this event. I do recommend like I've mentioned on previous videos trying to get a shield which allows you to apply terror to yourself either through a melee or via from action skill end. You will need something like this to basically use terror anointed weapons and gear when this event ends because when this event does end loot ghosts go with it so you won't be able to get the effect from enemies in terms of terror where all these terror anointed items come into play. So yeah guys I'm sorry if this isn't new information to you but I do hope it helps the people out there that are still after those certain legendaries. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
about that one. 